A very good morning, students. We will study grammar today. And in grammar, we have tenses that I have taken today. Well, tense, if we define, it means time. Time of what? Time of the action that has happened in a given sentence. So, if tense means time, time can be defined in three ways. And that's how tenses are based on. If the action happens in present, present tense. If the action happened in the past, past tense. And if it will happen in future, future tense. But wait, before we get into describing mode, I want you to know at least these three terminologies. What is a subject, verb and object? Okay, if you are reverberating with the definition, forget it. I need you to analyze it. I need you to figure it out in a given sentence. So, if I take the definitions, we talk about subjects, which means whatever is talked about in a sentence is the subject. Example is, Shakespeare wrote King Lear here. Whom we talk about is Shakespeare. So, that's the subject. We take verb. Whatever the subject does, here, whatever Shakespeare does, what does it do? He writes, he wrote. So that's the verb. And if you take the third type, that is object. And uh, a simple way to explain is like whatever the verb acts upon is the object. Here, King Lear is being written. So King Lear is the object here. You can spend some more time in your grammar books to get an expertise over these particular things. One more thing before we move into the tense, actual tense. I want you all to know at least the five different forms of verbs. Anytime in the uh, video you can uh, take a snapshot, screenshot or maybe you can pause and write it down in your note copy for better purposes. So here we go. First form is the present form, which is the base form. It is also the plural form of the verb. The past form, second form. Third form is the past participle. Fourth one is present participle, the ing version of a verb. And the fifth form is infinity. That is the s or es version. Here it's thinks. So we take the example of think as a verb. The past form is thought. Past participle, thought. Again, present participle is thinking, while fifth form is thinks. So we need to know verb forms before we get into tense. Now I feel we are good to go for tenses. And uh, I have actually devised a particular form, a particular way to study tense in an easy way. It is a two-step procedure. The first step, I want my students to have an expertise on what is written here. Please take a note. Are you able to identify the given tense in a sentence? And are you able to form a sentence in a given tense? That is the first step. You need to have a bell in your head. The moment you hear the name of a tense, the sentence should come up. And the moment you read a sentence, the tense should blink, should pop up in your head. Once you get an expertise over this, we will move to the second one, which is studying the 12 different types of tenses, which is according to the usage. Well, I will present before you a, 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 a specific uh, a detail of all the different types of tenses along with the structures given along with an example. So it's simple present form, past, future. It's present continuous, past continuous, future continuous. And then we move forward for the next two. Present perfect, past perfect, future perfect. Present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous. You can, you should have an expertise on this. And then we'll move to the usage. Thank you for your patient listening students.